Hey everybody! Recently I did a Christmas card for the company I work for and I did it in Affinity Designer and I wanted to do a tutorial and show you how I did this. Um, I'm going to break this up into two parts. This video I'm going to show you how to do the tree here and then uh, the next video I'm going to show you how to do the bulbs and kind of break it into um, a bigger card and do like a composition star and everything. But this is a really easy process and it turned out good and I think uh, there's a lot of good techniques to learn in here, like masking. Um, we're going to use the brush tool and stuff. So uh, it's going to be a cool tutorial. So let's just get started with the tree. The first thing I want to do for this is, uh, and a lot of things where I'm just sketching stuff out, is I want to go right into our pixel persona and make a new pixel layer. And then I want to pick a brush and we'll make it black and we'll click on the brush here and what i want to do is uh just i just want to start drawing right away uh that way i have something that i can uh trace over in vector so i'm going to start drawing out a christmas tree and the the trick to drawing christmas trees is kind of going swooping out but then kind of swooping back in this way So, and this, the pen I chose is pretty harsh here. I could lighten it up a little bit, but uh, we're going to keep this tutorial pretty quick here. So once you got one side done, I'm just going to hit uh, Command J to duplicate this. Or we could have went up and uh, edit duplicate as well. Uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it. Oops, sorry, I'm going to right click. I'm going to right click on this and go transform and uh, flip horizontal. And then there we go. Now we got our Christmas tree. So now that we got the shape of our tree made, uh, it's not perfect, but we're going to go back over to the design persona and we're going to make a vector layer. Uh, and then I'm going to select both of these and I'm going to hit command G and double click that and call that sketch. Okay, now back on our vector layer, we're gonna go to the pen tool. And for my pen mode, I'm gonna go over here to this one, which is polygon mode, which means it's just gonna make a bunch of straight lines. They're not gonna be curved, because I'm gonna show you a really cool trick here to do this quickly. All we wanna do is click anywhere there's a point. We don't wanna worry about the, uh, the curves at all because there's a really quick way and I'm going to show you how to get this to the shape that you want. All right, and let's fill this with a green. Let's find ourselves a nice Christmas green here. Maybe that. Okay, so now we want to click on the, uh, the node tool. And all you want to do is you just want to go in and grab and pull. And if we go right in here, as you can see, just grabbing and pulling. Quick and easy. Now, the next thing we're going to want to do after this is we're going to want to uh, put some shading into this. And I know this tree doesn't look like the example tree. It's a little, I'm not liking this one as much, but uh, we, we can go in and fix it. It's vector, so we can do whatever we want. So uh, we're going to hide this layer now because we don't need it. And that's our basic tree. Uh, so what I want to do is stroke here. I want to go to none. I don't want to stroke on this. And... Uh, what we want to do is we want to put some shade in it. So I'm going to go and draw a new um, uh, made the pixel layer in there. If it makes your pixel layer in there, just drag it and drop it up. So I want the pixel layer here. I want to go back to the pixel persona. I want to go on the brush tool. And there. Okay. And all we're going to do here is 
we're going to kind of try to mimic the the tree a little bit. Um, and kind of make, not perfectly, but just something like that. Again, I'm going pretty quick here through this. But this is why I like using the the uh, pixel persona is because you can just do it really quick and just kind of get through it. And then you go back in and do the vector over top of it. And it just goes for an easier workflow. So now that I got that, now I can make a new uh, uh, vector layer. Go back to vector. Go back to the pen tool. And we're going to do the same thing. I'm just going to kind of click at all the points here. Now, what we need to decide, and it's not going to matter either way, is which way we want to go, because we're going to make a mask for this. So I'm actually going to go outside this way. Um, we technically could have went in on the other side. It, it just depends on which way you want to mask. Uh, you'll see what I mean in one second here. Okay, so now, again, we're going to take the node tool, and we're just going to... Uh, stretch that kind of the way we want it. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to make this a dark green because this is like the side of the tree that's got the shade. We're going to go here, click that, so we have nothing. Okay, we're going to get rid of, we're going to turn this layer off. Now, what we want to do is we want to mask this dark green into the shape of the tree. And all we have to do with that is take the two layers. So we need to take this curve, and all we need to do is drop it over this and into there. And as we can see, it added it to this layer, and it masked itself. So now this is a mask of that. Just super quick, super easy. And uh, we can still go in, edit it, no problem. Uh, it just will not go out of the border of the initial tree shape. So I am going to go in and play with this just a little bit. But you guys get the point. And then just to show the other side, let's go ahead and uh, I don't, I'm not going to do a pixel layer for this. I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of get right into this one because this one's not going to be as drastic and we just kind of want to highlight the edges a little bit on this one but we're going to make the uh, highlight side so i'm going to click down and around here and then we are going to choose a bright green Something like that, I guess. And go back to the node tool. And I actually, you know what, this time I can, uh, let me just drag all these in. Let me just get this pretty rough and I'll drag this in. So we want to take the curve layer and again, just put it right on top of the initial tree, not the uh, second one. Now what happens is, now these are empty layers because we took the curves out of them and placed them in there, so we can just delete those. Uh, and now that this layer is in here, uh, now I'm gonna adjust it a little bit better and just kind of get a side, like just a little bit of, of uh, light kind of popping through on this. And uh, that's looking kind of cool. So there you have it. That's. Uh, quick and easy tree in Affinity Designer. Um, do one more quick thing. We'll make a another layer and we'll go ahead and just make a little make a little stump there. There we go. 
Okay, so there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And don't forget to give me a subscribe if you like what I, I'm doing. I got more stuff on the way and I'll see you guys next time.